Dear students, happy morning to you all. Today we are going to see a prose when the trees walked. What does mean by when the trees walked? You see here my dear students, what are the children doing? You say the activities of these children. Would you like to be in their place? Which one you like the most? Send me the answer. Okay my dear students. Shall we go to the lesson now? Before going to this lesson, I'll just give a small intro about the author of this lesson. Do you know who is the author? Ruskin Bond. Do you know anything about Ruskin Bond? I'll explain you. Ruskin Bond is an award-winning Indian author of more than 500 books, short stories, essays and novels. He wrote Many short stories. He is an Indian author. He writes poetry and books for children, especially for kids and as well as adults also. He lives with his adopted family in Landor in Missouri, India. He was awarded the Bhatma Shri in 1999 and Padma Bhushan in 2014. He likes children very much. So he wrote many stories for you, my dear students. Okay, shall we start the lesson now? Here, the author shares his experience. Okay, my dear students. One morning, while I was sitting beside grandfather, who was sitting? Arthur Raskinborn. Beside grandfather on the veranda steps. What is in the veranda steps? In our house, there are some balcony. Na? There is a balcony. That is veranda. I noticed the tendril. Of a creeping vine. It's a grape. Trailing nearby. What is meant by tendril? That is a thin stem that attaches a plant to support. You saw the grape plant? Yes. Creeper. That's not a plant. As we sat there in the soft sunshine of a North Indian winter, I saw the tendril moving slowly towards grandfather. The author saw the tendril moving slowly near to his grandfather. Twenty minutes later, it had crossed the step and was touching his feet. After twenty minutes, the tendril touched the feet of his grandfather. There is probably a scientific explanation for the plant's behavior. Yes, my dear students, if we plant a tree, if we pour water, when it saw our face, it will be very fresh. Something to do with light and warmth, perhaps. I liked, but I like to think it moved across the steps simply because it wanted to be near grandfather. The tendril wanted to touch the feet of my grandfather. One always felt like drawing close to him. Yes, because my grandfather is a very kind person. Sometimes, when I sat by myself beneath the tree, I would feel rather lonely. But as soon as grandfather joined me, whenever I feel alone, my grandfather joined with me. The garden became a happy place. Uh, a company of my grandfather make us so happy. Grandfather had served many years in the Indian Forest Service. And it was natural that he should know trees and like them because he worked in the forest only now. So he knew everything about the trees and plants. So he liked them. On his retirement, he built a bungalow on the outskirts of Daradun, planting trees all around. After retirement, my father built a bungalow in Daradun and planting trees all over. What are the trees? Lime, mango, orange and goa. Also, eucalyptus, medicinal trees also, jacaranda and Persian lilacs. In the fertile dune, what is meant by fertile? Able to produce a lot of plants or crops because the grandfather where he built a house is a fertile area. Plants and trees grew tall and strong there. There were other trees in the compound before the house was built. Before building the house, he saw many other trees in the compound, including an old people that had forced its way through the walls of an abandoned outhouse. What is in the abandoned, left without care? People tree. That is one type of tree knocking the bricks down with its vigorous growth. What is in the vigorous, healthy and strong reduced tree? Banyan tree. That is also a brother tree of people tree. People tree are great 
shores because that is the biggest one even when there is no breeze they are broad chested slim waisted leaves with spin like tops determined to attract your attention it has broad chest the trunk is broad but it leaves are slim like a pin tops determined to attract our in attention and invite you into the shed because that is the biggest tree now grandmother had wanted the people tree cut down because it spoiled the bricks in his house now so and but grandfather had said let it be we can always build another outhouse but my grandfather refused to cut down the tree he simply said let it be we can always build another outhouse grandmother didn't mind trees she didn't care about the trees but she preferred growing flowers but she loved to planting more flowers and was constant constantly ordering catalogs what is my mean by catalog my dear students a complete list of items whenever we are going to a shop they gave us a catalog now we'll see the catalog and see the price of the plant or tree price of the such particular thing and the quality of the particular thing and seeds grandfather helped her out with the gardening not because he was crazy about flower gardens but because he liked watching butterflies my grandfather also helped her to make the beautiful garden he did because he loved to watching butterflies and that's only one way to attract butterflies what is that way grow more flowers in the garden if there are more flowers many butterflies will come is it true my dear students yes Did you enjoy this section? Thank you all.